the bat guy. If you like the video, don't forget to leave a like and turn on notification so you get updated and you never miss another dad's in If you had a tip for my vision, please let other guardian know in the comment section below. Thank you. And don't forget to leave your rating down below in the comment section. I'll see you in the video. So hello guys and welcome. Today I'm going to give you five tips for gambit. I do be warned the video it ain't out for people who are trying the free gambit free week. What are trying the gambit free weekend going on at the 9 to the 11 in Destiny 2 Forsaken for PC, PS4 and Xbox One. And the certain people did aim for it the people like my sir what I what is going for the Malfeasant Quest in Gambit. Going for the Malfeasant Quest in Gambit. In Gambit. So the first it, the first it, it ban your moat Why? Don't ban too little or don't ban too high. I see it. I see people far too often going for that 10, 15 moat to get that um, big ball and to be honest I tell you I tell you that ball can go down in two shotgun hit. go for small to me doing panty to me doing mo my suggestion is I always go between 4 to 8 or or 4 to 11 not too high but not too low that means I can send in a small bottle but also a medium blocker and the finish if I get a 15 mo or a 12 mo or, or 13 or 14 and then they invade the crew I could win my whole team I could basically lose the game because the third game the third game let set the pay for the second game and for the second round um, so don't ban too little or too high. Um, and what I mean by too little is don't, because you want your moat to be affected. Moat is all about being affected and starting the team. So if you ban two or three more, uh, yeah, you're going to get, you're going to be hurting your team get to the total moat further. But um, you're really not doing a lot of damage. Moat is about considerably doing a lot of damage over time and if you just put a little moat like two or three that is going to do damage over time but you want damage to be done like fast and quick and also over time. The second thing is invade at the right time. Now what I mean by this is invasion a key. Yeah, I know it's fun to invade on a team and to um, to kill somebody with a team, but invade at the right time. If they got a white bar, that probably mean they got a lot of more. That probably mean they got two or three people with like 15 more or 14 more with a lot of more. And if you invade at that time, you can potentially stop them sending a big blocker over to you and invading first and getting and getting the um the little head start on the game and getting the little head start on the game but also you want to use your invasion right and key what i would recommend is invade before they hit 70 because you can drag the slow the invader down if you invade before 70 they, you can drag the slow the invader down and slow the invader down is important because the whole idea of invading is to slow them down it is really important to slow them down and yeah when you, especially when you're going for the malfeasance quest and you want to 
and order you gotta defeat Mafi and um before the enemy do you wanna slow um you wanna slow your enemy team down so you maybe get a a forty setting head start or a ten setting head or even a two setting head start so you can take so you can take them like widow or night out a little bit early and prep for them. Um, my first, my second tip is complete cred, fanty, and milestone and chatting. Now, a lot of you are gonna be playing a gambit over the net too, over the week and the net week because um, D2 we are the higher chance the Mafia can spot. And you're probably we gonna be playing gambit. 95% of your playtime for Destiny. So, whatever uh, your playtime, it is it 4, it is 3, uh, it is 4, uh, you're probably gonna play the majority of that percentage. Um, the majority, and, um, if, and you could get part of the gear. Eat week, you can get 4 part of the gear. You can get you can get one part of the gear for completing free gambit map, one part of the gear from the grid. You could get one part of the gear from your clan by your completing um, by your completing gambit bounty. Uh, what whole phone gear you and you can get one part of the gear from the I call from the I call. Also, you could get also whether that is lucky. You could get. The weekly part of the gear on a Monday, and so on a Monday, and you got seven days to do it. So you could technically get five part of the gear if you're getting if your time in your part of the gear correctly, correctly if your time then correctly and night and quickly. So that my third tip. Uh, what I would say, so we could have, um, we could have, a dub and too little, um, or too high, we also could have, we also could have, the, um, invade at the right time, and we also could have, the, we also could have, the weedy bandy, now, I have two more tips for you, the first is you your AI, are you your HUD. What I mean by that is the HUD is really important. The HUD is the more important. Is the more important because the HUD is all about the grid that can tell you. If the HUD got a bunch of white bar, that means they probably got a lot of more they haven't banned. And that probably mean when you invade, you can slow them down and give them a pat a punch. Um, is there a yellow bar? That mean they got a point either. If they um got a super underneath, uh, like a picture underneath, that probably mean that you in a super are you on the point either. And you can also see how many more there are the team, so you can. So you can work out when they're gonna invade and what time they're gonna invade, and you can pay pay the whole game and the whole run on that bar by looking. Also, it tell you how many run you won, how many run they won, so you know it it the run you need to be game footer, or you just need to cruise it and take it easy with your teammate and buddy. So we, with your teammate and buddy. So yeah, that is sort of what I want to tell you guys. Yeah. A, a bit to, um, what we forgot to discuss it, listen to the grid 
I know you can't listen to the Twitter in my gameplay, but if he said an uh, invader on the fear, then look for an invader on the fear. If he said you can get a prime either, get a prime either and jump ban. Just stop doing what you're doing and jump ban. Because if you don't listen to that invader, you can get caught or gar with what you're doing. If you don't listen to that invader, the that dreader and said that uh, invader cunning you might just think it okay fine but listen to the dreader because the dreader can give you can can give can the only person what can give you information like nobody else he's your key to success listen to the grid the high value target on the field Go get the high value target, cause the high value target contain more mo Is there an invader on the field? Stop what you're doing and try and get somebody to look for that invader. If ban, drop anything all you're doing. It is, drop anything all you're doing. And just ban and get a play either. And get a play either. Is there a portal? And you wanna go in the portal? Is there a portal ready? And you know they got white bar. Go in the portal. The enemy team got a point either. Probably don't go in the portal. Just try and get your um. Just try and get um a num a numbo to ban as soon as you can and all photo on the mo. Listen to the invader. The invader is key. And the invader is gonna be more than your friend. Then more than your word enemy. It gonna be your friend than your enemy. And um it gonna be your friend more than your enemy. So bye guy, I hope you I hope you are good at gambit. I hope you listen to my tip. I hope you take them in and I hope you can get that my feed symbol sooner than later. And you know what to come when the mouth If you don't get the mouth feeding ball, then you don't defeat the mouth feeding ball. Quit it. Don't worry, it all because of me. Send the Nadi message on Bailey on YouTube. Send the Nadi message to me saying it all my fault. You didn't get a point. Either. But I thank you that you listened to my tip. I thank you that you tuned me. And if you had any more tips, leave them in the comment. Leave them in the comment. Subscribe and for more notebook, for more Destiny content, turn on per notification. Bye, guys.